Hi, I'm Nancy Armour, and my colleague Kenny Jacoby from USA Today's investigative team and I have been working for the last several weeks, Kenny's actually been working on this since earlier this year, on a story about recently released Washington football team running back Darius Geis. While Geis was at LSU, two women say that he raped them. The details of their stories are similar. Both women say that they were assaulted in their apartments after a heavy night of drinking. While neither woman reported the alleged assaults to the police at the time, both told friends and family members. One of the women has since joined a civil lawsuit against the NCAA in which she makes a similar claim, although Geis's name is not mentioned in the lawsuit. Kenny, why don't I let you take it from here and you can explain what you've learned. Yeah, so uh, our reporting found that um, the women's allegations were shared at the time with multiple people at LSU, uh, including two coaches, an athletics administrator, and a nurse, um, yet the complaints don't appear to have been um, fully investigated. Um, there is a federal law, Title IX, um, which uh, under policy at the time of the reports would have required um, LSU to uh, promptly address the allegations and investigate what happened. Um, it does not appear that uh, those steps were, were taken in this case. Uh, we also found that one of the women, uh, just the day before Darius Geis was arrested uh, for domestic violence charges, was interviewed by an investigator for the Washington football team. Um, and so the very next day after this interview, which lasted about three and a half hours, uh, Darius Geis was arrested in Virginia and released from the team. The team's statement at the time made no mention of any alleged sexual assaults. We reached out to Darius Geis, LSU, the Washington football team, and the NFL. LSU said, quote, it takes all accusations of sexual assault with the utmost seriousness. Formal complaints are promptly and fully investigated. The Washington football team said that it would have no comment beyond what it said after Geis was released. The NFL is still trying to decide whether Geis is in violation of its personal conduct policy in relation to the domestic violence charges that he faces in Virginia. Geis has denied wrongdoing in that case. And through his attorney, he has denied all of the women's accusations in our report. Hey, sports fans, if you want to see more videos like this, check out some of our other ones right here. And if you like what you see, make sure to hit the subscribe button and stay tuned for more from USA Today Sports.